So I didn't realize until the last one ended, the guy at the end, I was supposed to recognize him, but my small, you know, lack of memory was not able to. That was Thorkel from the very first episode whenever Thors was fighting, when we got to see him on the battlefield. I had always wondered how that guy that was fighting with Thors would come back up, and now it appears he is. And I can't wait to see his place in the story because, I don't know, I feel like whenever you're on the battlefield at that moment with Thor, whenever that that switch flips it's a big deal and they they must have been close because they were fighting like they were i'm getting ahead of myself welcome back to the channel my name is jack the bus we're watching the battle of london bridge and vinland saga today i'm very excited to get into it drop a like on this one and let's get started i'm still not gonna unhear blackbeard though i'll tell you what london bridge what the chains at the bottom Do you like to stop boats from going through <laughs> Wait, it's sort of like the London Bridge is falling down. Where, where does that come from? An easy win. Ah! Thorkel would side with the enemy. So he knows who he is. The tall. <laughs> he is pretty dull. That sounds like something Askeladd would do. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. Askeladd plays the winning side. Okay, we know Bjorn, we know. Why is London such a big deal? Like its location? Oh, so this is like, this is like where scouters are gonna be looking for the best warriors. Oh. Ooh. Is it another duel? Is that the reward? Same as always. This is gonna be like a perpetual cycle. He's strong. He threw it back. He's giving him these crazy tasks, man. And he just says yes if it means a duel. There he is. Now the big question is, what was Thorkel and and Thor's relationship, and what would he think of his son being here? I don't think this is going to be nearly as easy as him bringing the the head of that one guy from the last four uh, over in France. Ah, oh, Flo. Oh my gosh, he's here. Why is Thorkel such a big deal? Is he just an insane fighter? He's like the number one draft pick, man. Ugh, Floki. Ugh. It makes me sick just seeing him, man. I'm not gonna lie. They are trying to recruit him. <laughs> They're watching everything. My gosh. Oh. Dude. He's a mountain. <laughs> I love his voice, man. King Swain. Is this Van or Swain? I, I don't think Thor Thorkel looks like the type of guy to surrender. <laughs> he gonna tell me himself? A friend. There's no friends in war. Fought his warrior side by side. Interesting. Sigvaldi. So Thorkel's brothers to Sigvaldi. <laughs> this guy's crazy. It seems like, yeah, he just wants chaos. Oh, Asgard said, I'm not sure he. Holy sh. This guy's crazy. <laughs> Didn't he call them weak? He was like, yeah, this place is done. I could jump ship, but like, I don't really want to. It'd be more fun this way. <laughs> okay, so now we have a very good idea of who Thorkel is. We actually went back. So this is in France? Oh, so this is how we got to this point. Oh, I see, I see. And that's why we cut to Thorkel going sicko mode with an axe. I think he said this this fort inevitably falls, though. London Bridge does. They're chopping the bridge down! The poem! Oh my god, bro. Bludgeoned by a rock. <laughs> is this just a giant log? Dog. Oh my. Oh, how many did he have? Log dropper. How do you grow this large, man? Dude, I love Thorkel. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, the king's gotta be pissed. So that king we saw is King Swain. Okay, I see. <laughs> as weak as it is. Oh. Oh. oh no. Now what? <laughs> Has no idea who he is, man. And Asgard knows the mission he's sending Thorfinn on. Like, he very clearly has an idea of who Thorkel is. That's why he's literally saying that duel is impossible for you to reach now. It's his. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Dude, he's spinning it. The animation goes crazy. Oh, I wanted to find out who he is and what that would mean to him. Cause like, we don't really know much about Thorkel and Thors besides the fact that they were fighting and they seemed close relatively. <laughs> Through the log too? Fist to fist? Oh my gosh. <laughs> don't ask me, me, bro. I think you're underestimating him. Look at that fist. With like Saitama's fist coming in. We cut him. He's like excited. <laughs> A cut doesn't even like affect them. Oh my gosh! I almost don't want Thorfinn to kill him. No, I oh I really don't. Dagger's too small. Which one's the most reachable? Highest percent chance. Drop him to your level. Oh shoot! Ah! Oh my gosh! He would have never expected him to grab it with his f***ing hand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Asuka was like, yep, about, about what I expected. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. How is he not just ripping his hand off? Are, are they leaving Thorfinn? <laughs> so I'm getting slammed by this giant? <laughs> Bro! Yeah! Ask him his name. Oh, he's faking. No! Oh! Oh my... How is he not screaming? Oh! Bro, it's acting like he just regrow his... Oh! Wait, this could be big. Oh, shoot. Oh, what? What's it? He's trying to escape. <laughs> mm. Almost like he like, owed it to Thor's. <laughs> oh my gosh. New favorite character in the show. Actually, though, that guy is crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now Thorfinn's got a Viascon and Thorkel. He's boned, man. Ugh. Dude, the 4,000? They have that many to just leave just to siege London? That's not even all their, their forces. Oh. Oh, Canute. I mean, they teased Canute a little bit already. And Canute's the one that's like up to be the next in line for king, no? <laughs> I love how Thorkel is the thing standing between them and London. Oh. Spoiled him. Wait, what? who has got a dome. Oh. <laughs> is that Thorfinn? Oh, yeah, there he is. How far did Buddy drift? Dude, I thought somehow he was just gonna like wash up and like reunite with, with Askeladd and the whole crew. I'm kind of glad it didn't go that way. He's actually like struggling. All the troops? Oh. Oh. They said only leave 4,000. They think they like won. I, I mean, I guess this battle. He's like, no, I want more. <laughs> His bloody hand, bro. Oh, it's almost like infantile. Oh no, he's gonna take his frustrations out on them. <laughs> I, I love that dude, man. Oh my gosh, he's funny. Oh, oh. You're alive. <laughs> yeah, he knew that. Oh, just seeing him, he was like, damn it. I'll snap back in myself. Dude, he is broken. Oh my gosh. So they're marching on Wessex. Dude, poor Thorfinn, man. How stupidly outmatched he was. 
Ah, interesting. He's seen another angle to it all. Because I feel like, oh man, I didn't even think about that. Like up until this point, he's only seen like fighting as like for your life, for like good or bad. But Thorkel shows him like the entertainment aspect of it. I didn't even think about that. Because like all of Asgard's crew, like pillages and stuff for like food and all that, like the benefits, robbing of people, like everything that comes from that. Thorkel is the first character I think that we've met that just straight up just likes fighting with his entire being. He didn't even want them to retreat. He didn't care if London Bridge fell as long as it meant he got to keep fighting. Interesting. Okay. But he is thinking about it. Like it continues to sort of mold Thorfinn. He's this blank canvas that while he was a child was relatively blank. But then as soon as his father died, it was like black paint was like thrown all over it. Now, like bit by bit, different brush strokes are going over. But at the baseline, he's still this broken person from losing his father. But I like this, this sort of angle Thorkel brings to it. I didn't think about that. He is a very unique character in that like he wasn't, it didn't seem like he was even in pain from being stabbed with the hand having his freaking fingers cut off. So I wonder what like his impact, what, what, what his impact will be on Thorfinn and how much it'll make him rethink like fighting and battle and I guess life and death as a whole. But that has been it for the Battle of London Bridge. Thank you guys for joining me. Drop a like on this one and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.